Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video all about my experience getting eyelash extensions and what I think about them. I mentioned in last week's Dollar Tree haul that I got eyelash extensions and asked if you guys would be interested in seeing a video about it and so many people said that they did want to see a video and they asked me questions in the comments. Also, I posted on social media on my Instagram and Facebook. Um, I just showed a picture of me without makeup on my eyelash extensions and I had a lot of comments underneath there just asking questions about it so I figure I would do a video and just share my experience and answer the questions to the best of my knowledge. Today I am getting eyelash extensions! I am so excited about this. I've been wanting to get eyelash extensions so for so long. For so long. I hate my eyelashes. Even with mascara, my eyelashes just suck. It's a hereditary thing. My mom sucks as well. And it's just, I've tried lash growth serums and stuff like that, but I wanted to do something different. I love when I wear fake lashes, but I like hate the process of doing it. And to be honest, I just want to wake up and my eyelashes look good. I don't wear makeup like I would say 80% of the time, 75% of the time, I just am barefaced. I work from home the majority of the time. When I run errands, I usually don't have makeup on. So I would just like my eyelashes to, you know, be a little bit better looking without like having to put mascara on them or anything and not have to worry about it. This is what my eyelashes look like. I mean, they could be a lot better. I'm really super excited. So I just wanted to try them out and see how they made me feel when I had, you know, no makeup on, but still really pretty full and dark eyelashes. I think it's super important to just do what makes you feel good and try things that might make you feel good and see if they do make you feel good. I think it's all about, you know, not worrying about impressing other people, just doing something that makes you feel happy, makes you feel better about yourself, whatever it may be, whether you, you know, get fake nails or you do your hair or, you know, there's so many, put on makeup, lots of different things that people do to make themselves feel better and there's nothing wrong with that. So I did my research and I decided to make an appointment. Her name is Katrine and it's called At Lashed by Katrine. Isn't that so cute? She has this cute little setup in Orlando and I loved it. She is so skilled, so knowledgeable, she's been doing this for over 11 years which is crazy because I didn't even know eyelash extensions existed 11 years ago but she told me that you know they were just uh, more popular for like holidays and special occasions and things like that and now they've just become a lot more mainstream and people are just wearing them all the time which I can see why because like I said, I'm loving them. If you're not in New Orlando or Central Florida area and you don't know who to go to, do your research, ask around, find someone that is skilled and has been doing it for a while, that has a clean place. It'd be tempting to go somewhere that just has a better, you know, deal on them. Just wanna be careful. So I highly recommend checking the reviews and doing some research before you just go to any old lash artist. I'll have Katrine's information linked down below if you're interested in checking her out if you live in this area because she did such a fantastic job. I really didn't know what to expect. It's the weirdest thing. It, it, it was, I've never had such a bizarre like experience. It just felt, it's not like it hurt or anything like that. It just felt weird. I don't even know what it is that she takes. I'll insert a picture if I can find one. She basically sticks something like, you have your eye open and it lays on top of your eye so that when you close your eye, your top lashes aren't touching your bottom lashes. So it keeps them separated so that when she's doing your lashes, like they don't get stuck together with each other. You know what I'm saying? So that was a bizarre feeling because having this like little thing over your eye, like in between your eyelashes, it was a just a really weird feeling. And the process takes for your first time about an hour and a half to two hours. So you're like literally laying there with that thing between your eye for almost two hours, which, you know, it like I said, it doesn't hurt at all. It's just kind of a weird feeling. So you could listen to music if you wanted to. I just talked to her like the whole time, but next time I might just listen to bring it like an earbud and listen to music or something like that. But I just had so many questions, so I just kept talking. So when I first got in there, she kind of asked me like what I wanted to go with, what kind of style, because there are different styles and volumes. She has um, a classic, a volume, and a Hollywood. And I wanted to try the volume because it was right in the middle. I didn't want to just do it the classic because 
I wanted something a little bit more than classic, you know? Uh, I figured I'm going for it, might as well do it up. Um, and I'm glad that I went with the volume. I think the classic just would have been a, not just, it just wasn't quite enough for me. But it's definitely a good starting point for someone that just wants to dip their toes in it and try it out. So like I said, I decided to go with the volume. So I have my eyelash extensions. I am loving them so much. They look so pretty. She gave me so much good information. I'm gonna share it all with you guys. I basically like asked her everything. So, um, but we did do, she asked me if I wanted to do like a cat eye or a regular. Um, and I said, well, I, what really was the difference? And, um, and so she explained to me like the cat eye just comes out to the side a little bit and she said a lot of people really like that so I went ahead and tried the cat eye one I may next time when I get a fill try it without the cat eye and see if I like it a little bit better but it is really pretty my husband is obsessed with them he's like oh my god because I got home and I had no makeup on and he's like oh my god they look so good and that's the main reason why I wanted them is just like because I don't have makeup on so much of the time, I just wanted to like still feel like I could throw on a little bit of lip gloss, maybe just some, con some concealer, and then I already have my lashes good to go, and then feel just like a little bit more confident um, out and about, because just because I don't wear makeup out and about doesn't mean like I'm confident about it. I don't love the way I look without makeup on or anything. I just, you know, just don't do it because I care, but like I don't care that much you know but I do feel as I'm getting older it it's important to make sure that you feel good when you go out and about or just in general just looking at yourself in a mirror if you can improve a little bit of yourself that you want to then you know go for it this is the thing with eyelash extensions which is probably the biggest you know negative you have to get them filled every like between two and four weeks she said that with the classic they're usually about every two weeks you need to get them filled, but with the volume or the Hollywood, you can go about three to four weeks. And in between those times, your lashes will just kind of slowly fall out. I got my lashes done two weeks ago today, and they actually haven't come out that much at all. You can see, like, they're still very full. I mean, I have definitely have seen a few of them come out and fall out, um, but I like that they just don't, um, they don't fall out like in chunks to where it looks like really weird, you know? I like the way that they just kind of like slowly fall out and I think for two weeks that they still look pretty good because I was really scared that, um, that they would just like look like crap after two weeks and be like, oh my God, I've got to get a fill right away. I'm gonna see if hopefully like my lashes will be able to make it to four weeks so I have to get it done just once a month instead of, you know, once every three weeks. But you know, I guess we'll see. They're not the cheapest things to get done. And each lash artist, you know, the price varies and also which kind of style you do, the price varies. But I would say it, between 150 to 200 or like 125 to 200 is what I, the range that I found when doing research of how much your initial lashes cost. And then each fill I saw it range from between about 60 to 75 each fill. So I knew in my head like that's, you know, not a little bit amount of money. That's a decent amount of money. Um, and especially to keep going with it and, and keep it up and how often you have to get them done. So I'm really glad to see that after um, two weeks, they still look this full. You can see like this one is, I don't know, like you have to take a little comb and like comb them out still, but you don't want to put any kind of mascara on there because this, the stuff that's in the mascara can stick to your actual you know the lash extensions and they can dry them out and pull it out different things like that you just don't want to mess with you know your actual eyelash extensions by putting makeup over them one thing that was happening for me when i was getting my eyelash extensions done towards like the end it was more happening not really the beginning or the middle um as much but my eyes started watering and you don't want that to happen um because you're not supposed to get your eyelash extensions wet for the first like 
think four hours after you get them done um, just so that everything has time to like completely dry because they obviously have to use an adhesive to keep the eyelash extensions on your lash line and stuff so if your eyes get wet um, from them watering uh, in the first couple of hours it could just make them fall out so I was a little little worried that I might lose some of them just initially because my eyes were starting to water um, and I think that's just because I was talking a lot and that's why I think next time I probably won't be talking and I will just like relax and maybe try and like fall asleep or listen to something and just like not be moving because my eye was also twitching some which was so, it was just such a weird feeling and your eye like and I Again, I think it was because I was talking, but they were just like, just you could just feel it just twitching, but they are closed, you know? So it was definitely a, a little bit of a weird experience. Again, nothing, it didn't hurt or anything like that, but I was like, stop watering eyes, don't mess this up for me. Oh, one thing that I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so hard for me to get used to is I have for years and years and years used coconut oil to take off my makeup, my eye makeup, my face makeup, all of it. And you cannot use anything oil-based on your eyes, around your eyes, um, because the oil can make your eyelashes come out. And I was like, oh my gosh, what do you use to take off you know, your eye makeup and everything? And she recommended this stuff. It's called Lash Fresh, and it's Eye and Lash Foaming Clean Wash. And it's for artificial and natural lash lashes. It's organic and 100% natural, so you gotta love that. I will also leave this link down below just in case you're interested in it. You can just get it on Amazon. It was like pretty inexpensive. It was just a little over like 10 bucks. This will also take off your eye makeup. Now, I will say that ever since I got them, I really haven't worn eyeliner because I've been scared. I don't wanna mess my eyelashes up. So I just haven't worn eyeliner and I actually feel like my eyelashes, like my eye looks, even when I, obviously I don't have any eye makeup on or anything today, but even when I do have eyeshadow on and stuff, with the lashes, I feel like I don't really even need eyeliner. But you can still wear eyeliner if you have um, eyelash extensions. You just need to stay away from like pencil ones that have any kind of oil in them. She told me that the Kat Von D Locket liner, I think it's called, is a really good one. Um, and some other ones. I have a phys physician's formula one that's kind of like the Kat Von D one. Um, that I really like so when I do want to use eyeliner I'm gonna use that but again I haven't really felt like I needed to wear um, eyeliner so that's kind of cool because before I just I was never really happy with my eyelash and I felt like eyeliner just kind of always helped like bring it together so I kind of love that I don't like I get to take a step out of my routine I will say that when you're doing your eyeshadow um, for the first like few times when you have eyelash extensions it does feel a little bit not weird but you're just you feel a little cautious around this area you know when you're like blending things and stuff you just don't want to mess up your eyelash extensions but now I've done my makeup quite a few times since then and I haven't had any problems with them like falling out now that I've done my eye makeup quite a few times since I got them like I feel more comfortable doing it and I've realized like you can still basically do your eyeshadow and everything the same that you always normally do and it doesn't affect them. The most important thing though is just making sure that when you are taking off your um, eye makeup that you are careful. She recommends that you do not take your, um, you don't like use this wash when you're in the shower because if you're trying to wash your lashes when you're in the shower and have like the shower water beating down on them, it can be a little too harsh for your lashes. So she suggests um, when you actually want to clean your lashes, you just do it over the sink. How she told me to clean them is to get these little, like, they're basically what makeup artists and stuff can use to apply um, lipstick and stuff like that on clients. So what I've been doing to wash my lashes and my eye makeup off is just been pumping a little bit of this onto, you know, this little thing. And then I go around my eye, you know, my eye makeup with one of them, and then I take another one and then go on my lashes. You wanna go on top of them and then like, you wanna go down basically, and then you wanna take the other side and then go up when you're cleaning them. And then I wash it off. Then I use one of these little wands. They also have silicone ones that you can get too, that you can just continue to clean, but these are disposable ones. And you just take it and just brush through them again, um, you know, going down and going up and kind of spreads them back out. Because it is weird, like when you are done washing your face or you get out of the shower or whatever, the water like, 
separates your lashes and they kind of like all stick together while they're still wet and so you want to take it and like kind of brush it out they'll still a little bit for me at least they stay a little bit like stuck together not for long again it's just like while they're wet and it's so crazy but then once they dry they just fluff right back up which you gotta love that they've been really easy to clean it hasn't been an issue my eye makeup's been coming off just fine with it you can also use a makeup wipe um, to initially which is actually what I've been doing the first step when I have eye makeup on is taking a makeup wipe and Wiping you know that part off. I just got an oil-free makeup wipe And then I will go in with the actual like foaming stuff and then clean it that way I also ask Katrine if you decide that you don't want eyelash extensions anymore What you know if it's just too much of a financial obligation or you just kind of you just don't want them You don't want the upkeep whatever it is um, what's the process with that and she said they just naturally will fall out the number one complaint that I heard from anyone or that I've looked up um, About eyelash extensions is that I've seen a lot of people complain that once they decide not to have eyelash extensions anymore that their natural lashes are much shorter or um, Just a little bit damaged from the eyelash extensions. So I asked Katrine her thoughts on that and she told me that she hasn't experienced that with any of her clients they haven't complained about when they don't have eyelash extensions that their lashes um, are messed up at all and also Katrine has had eyelash extensions and she's used them and she had them at the beginning of I think August and I saw her eyelashes she didn't have eyelash extensions on when um, she was doing mine and her eyelashes looked beautiful so I didn't see any damage from hers and she told me a lot of times people can have that issue um, from not going to someone that's very skilled and putting them on also the adhesive that someone uses could damage it so that's why it's so important to go to someone that is super skilled and knowledgeable on it that does you know continues their education on eyelash extensions and is using the best um, possible stuff on your eyelash extensions. It could also be because someone's not gentle enough on their lashes and they might like rub their eyes a lot and stuff and that can damage it. Also if someone like picks at their lashes and they can pull out their regular lashes with um, you know the eyelash extensions as well. So you just have to be careful with who you go to and you know taking care of them being gentle with them and hopefully it doesn't damage your eyelash, um, your natural eyelashes. You know, you take that risk when you're getting them, if, especially like I knew going in that some people have had that complaint, but I wanted to try them out for myself. I've been very, you know, gentle with my lashes and all of that. So, I mean, we'll see over time if I end up having that issue and you know, I'm like, oh, my lashes are, you know, short, but my lashes, I wasn't, <laughs> very happy with to start with so I'm like well it can't like it can't be that bad my lashes were already pretty straight so we'll see hopefully you know I don't have that issue with once I'm done with having eyelash extensions but you never know and I just wanted to try them out for myself and see I'm still a newbie to this whole eyelash extension world so obviously I haven't had like a bunch of fills and all that stuff I've only been on for two weeks but I just wanted to make sure I shared my experience with you guys since so many people had questions and they wanted to know about it. So I hope this answered questions that you may have. Again, if you are in the Orlando or you know Central Florida area, I will leave Katrine's information linked down below because she did such a good job and my lashes are holding up still super well. I'm really happy with them and I foresee myself having these for quite a while because I just love being able to wake up and have no makeup on and yet I still feel good like my eyelashes look good put some like chapstick on or some like clear lip gloss and I feel good going out the door with no makeup on and stuff so I love that and also my husband loves he always loved when I wore fake eyelashes so he loves the eyelash extensions but I also think that these would be super fun to have just during the holidays or if you have a special event or like you're getting married or anything like that I think that these could be an amazing thing or you're going on your honeymoon or you know on a vacation so many different things you could just use them for or get them done for just to have for that period of time and not have to worry about keeping up with you know the upkeep of getting them filled all the time so I'm really enjoying them a lot my best friend's going to get hers done now because she's like I want them done too too. So hopefully this answered you guys questions and you know obviously again I'm just new to this whole eyelash extension game so there may be other things that happen during this process that I'm like oh, you know I didn't know that or that hadn't happened to me yet but 
as of right now, these are my thoughts on them. I'm loving them. I love Katrine. She's amazing. And um, I'm just super happy that I got them. I'm excited to have them. And um, I love that you can have the different styles and you know, the, how long you want them. You just have a lot of options with the eyelash extensions. So I love that because you can really make it work for whatever look that you're going for. So that's really cool. I think that's everything that I can think of to cover about eyelash extensions and my experience with them so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Also, if you have any questions that I didn't touch on in the video, definitely let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to try and answer them. And if I don't know the answer, I will reach out to Katrine and I will follow back up with you once I get her response. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Video. Bye.